and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to construct a grid. So there is this path effect function that we can use for it and I haven't talked about that until now. Let us simply create a rectangle then we go to path and path effects. Make sure that the rectangle is selected so it has to have this bounding box. Click on the plus sign and use construct grid. The default is for X and Y, so a simple Cartesian coordinate system set to 5. You can change the default with a drop down, but we'll just keep it. For now, it isn't visible because we haven't given it a stroke. Our initial element rectangle only had a fill, so just hold Shift, click on the black color swatch, and you can give it a stroke. You can make that thicker on the object fill in stroke. Go to the width for the stroke style and now you can see the grid very clearly. So this method works well for rectangles but when you have other shapes you're going to run into a couple of problems. Let me use a circle. I've already given it a stroke, not a fill. And if we construct this grid with it, we'll have this effect. So it doesn't really deliver a grid in a circle shape. If we want to do that, we'll run into two problems. Let me do it again. This time I copy the circle up front. So we've got two. And I add the construct grid function to one. And I give that a stroke. You can see number one, we don't have a circle anymore. Number two, it's way bigger than our initial element. So these are two issues that we have to deal with. Let me close this. I've got it all selected. Object, align and distribute and I put it to the center. Now I'll size my circle up holding shift and control. Do something like this. And then let me copy the circle again once more. So I've got two. Only one is selected, I will shift, click on the grid, and then right click and set a clip. For the black circle, I'll select it, get rid of the fill, and then I will shift and give it a stroke. And this is how you could construct it for a circle shape or for any other shape than a rectangle. For the construct grid function, it only helps you directly when you've got a rectangle. For everything else, you'll have to use a clipping mask as well. But this is how you can construct a grid in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.